think first and foremost is, is an original and uh, a very strong-willed individual, I think. Yes, we're all good country boys, you know. You live up in the hills in our little bookies and sit around the campfire singing songs with our fiddles and bagpipes. That's what big country's all It reached number 17 in 1983, held by an edge of the seat white knuckle adventure action video. I don't think we've ever looked upon this as being a career, you know. It's, it's always been something that's much more part of our lives than that. I think we have retained a sense of innocence and a sense of naivety. I think we're not afraid to make big mistakes, you know. Which I think is great because, uh, especially in the sort of musical climate that there is at the moment, people seem to be completely unwilling to take any form of risk whatsoever. Not that we are an avant-garde band by any sense of the imagination, but I think we do have a very well-defined vision of what it is that we want to achieve. The Celtic scene, the sound hewn from the elements. I've always wanted to try and, and write songs and be involved in a music that was a living, sort of breathing part of the community that it comes out of. Something that was, uh, that people felt uh, was a part of their lives that they could feel involved in. The music regardless. To be quite honest, since I was 13 or 14 years old, I've never wanted to do anything else other than, than write songs and play them to people directly anyway. That's what I do, you know, and it's, it's something that it's just as much a part of my life as, as a lot of other things, you know, it's the reality.